Samsung has been making the Galaxy S series for 10 years now and the latest Galaxy S10 series which includes the Galaxy S10 Plus, the S10 and the affordable S10e arrives at a critical time for the company in India. The Galaxy S10 Plus isn't a radical change from its predecessor, the S9 Plus, owing to the same glass sandwich design and the curved design language. Major tweaks that Samsung brings on the table are a triple primary lens system at the rear, almost no bezels, introduction of an under-display ultrasonic fingerprint sensor, and hole punch selfie camera at the top right of the screen. Despite borrowing the same old designs from S9 Plus, the new Galaxy S10 Plus has a lot more screen real estate crammed into smaller footprint. With a 6.4-inch dynamic AMOLED display, it sports a screen-to-body ratio of over 93%. The glass in the rear and front curves into the frames in typical Samsung fashion which felt smooth in the palm but that doesn't make it fit for single-handed use. Unlike the latest Pixel phones and iPhones, this flagship comes with a standard 3.5mm headphone jack. A pair of AKG-tuned headphones are included in the box for great audio. The stereo speakers were also loud. The button on the right fired up Samsung's Smart Assistant Bixby but thankfully it can be customized to launch apps of your choice. However, it can't be used to wake up Google Assistant. The 4100 mAh battery lasted a day during moderate usage on a single charge which is average. The dynamic AMOLED display stretched all the way from the bottom to top bezel, offering great viewing, angles and deep vivid colors. What we particularly liked about the screen was the toned down saturation of colors unlike the Galaxy S9 or S8. The hole punch for the dual selfie camera was a little distracting for us even as it gave more screen space. A notch is better as it offers some symmetry. It can be hidden in the settings but that would add big black bezels at the top. The ultrasonic fingerprint scanner that sits under the screen is a bit different from the optical sensor that we have seen on OnePlus 60, thus making it difficult to spoof. It wasn't as smooth as the old school capacitor. Another USP of the device has to be the primary camera which comprises 12 megapixel standard lens plus 12 megapixel telephoto lens plus 16 megapixel ultra wide sensor which is missing in the latest iPhone and Pixel. Photos shot in perfect lighting conditions and daylight were good with enough detailing. However, certain pictures looked a bit overexposed that made skin tones look unnatural. There's a 10 megapixel plus 8 megapixel selfie camera that churned out some sharp portrait shots. There's an option to capture a wider view if you're taking a group selfie. The Galaxy X10 Plus is a great Android flagship phone that can easily become a favorite thanks to the new UI and the wide angle camera. Inus report. Subscribe to our channel. Just click on the bell icon for all the latest updates.